Hey guys, um, I got this, I was gonna, uh, I'm checking out this video, so I figure might as well record my reactions, if it's anything special or not, uh, it is a update to something that, I mean, I've never watched, I didn't follow, I watched the first, um, <clears throat> first, I guess, interview or whatever, you know, the first time this woman appeared, so I don't know anything about it, uh, it just said she was a dancer, and this is an update. Whatever. Let's check it out and see. Hello. Hello. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Arj. You so, you've been here before. I've been here before. I was the um. I was in like October, November. Yeah, I think I remember you was I was at the club and um. You kept I kept hanging up and you called me back and they thought you um hung up on another girl for me. But wait, but you're a stripper, right? I no. I don't dance no more. I danced for six weeks. I quit in 2018, and I went back and danced for six weeks because I felt like I needed some money back that somebody took from me, basically. And then, but, I, and then, so you don't dance no more? No, I just needed some money back real quick. So you got, got an update before we get into it? Yes, I got an update. First of all, people take social media too, too serious, and I appreciate the comments that I got. Honestly, I made some changes for myself, and I feel like they were good. Um, I, for one, one of the comments I got was filters, that I use filters all the time, so I don't use no filters no more. That was something You're so good. pretty. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll say she's average. I mean, technically, I really, I think she's a five. Um, five to adjustable six. Maybe cute, right? Pretty, I think pretties are like seven or eight or something, but eh. I don't think so. Uh, um, well, first of all, I got called ugly a million times last time. They I say she's average. The only comment I oh, think you're... from last time was my head was big, and they right. I got a big ass head. Oh, I think you're pretty. Okay. But um, it was hard. People couldn't figure out the math last time. So now I'm 33, and my kids are 17 and 13. People was like not not getting it. I don't know. I was 32 when I did my interview. People couldn't figure out the map. It was hard for them. What about guys? Did you meet a guy? Um, I went on one day, and I ended up paying for my own stuff. I ended up paying for myself. Wow. Um, I don't want to. You didn't up paying for yourself. I didn't want him to pay for me because I didn't really feel a connection. I didn't really feel anything, so I just paid for my own stuff, and that was it. Okay, well, let's get into it. Tell me your name again, sweetheart. Phil. <clears throat> Which is very commendable for her. You know, she has a. She seems like she has a good personality. Um, <clears throat> Thirty-three. Uh, used to be a dancer. Two, you know, older kids. Um, average looking. Uh, you know, I mean that's just my analysis so far. You know, I'm breaking it. I'm just reiterating the points. So. Let's see. Philly, Philly Banks. I live That's in right. South Carolina. Born in Philadelphia. Raised in Japan. I don't speak Japanese. Puerto Rican and Black don't speak no Spanish. Um, I shouted my dad out last time. He's a Black man. He raised me by himself. Love him to death. I shouted him out at the wrong time last That's time. insane, right? I, <clears throat> raised by a father and yet she became a stripper? And had two kids out of wedlock. <clears throat> you know, um, I gotta say, right? I I support men, but I also want to try to be the part of trying to better men as well, right? Um, the thing where uh, I feel like we as men are not. <clears throat> we are kind of conforming to modern day um, modern day ideology where we're trying to you know have our let's say raise our kids especially the girls to be independent be strong independent but I think we're doing it wrong um, <clears throat> now what I will hope to do right for my daughter is that Tell her straight up. You have two paths. I mean, 
of course you could you know these are <coughs> excuse me these are not concrete paths right you can th th a lot of things can happen but these are the clearest path where one become a career woman and that will be your focus focus on your money <coughs> focus on building yourself you know building your finances and do that right or two, focus on creating a family, have a good husband, and raise good kids. I think it's, and if you try to do a mix of both, it is hard, and it's not, I don't think that is a high likelihood for success, okay? Now, you could try, and if you get it, great. But I wouldn't recommend it because, like I said, there's a not a high likelihood of success because it is hard for someone to try to do both. Like, have a good family, you know, raise good kids, good productive kids, have, be attentive, be a good wife to your husband, and succeed in a career. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about a job because I, if you watch my, um, you know, I did a Devil's Advocate podcast where I talked about, you know, um, a job and career are different. I think most nowadays you should have two income family, right? But I don't think you should have two career income families, right? Where both people really push, trying to succeed in their careers, right? That is not what I'm talking about. I'm just, you can have a job. You should have a job because... You know, you need two incomes, but you don't need to have the, the stress of having to, you know, push in your job, you know, make it big, whatever. One person should, or one push, one person should try to make predom the predominant amount of money. Um, so, yeah, I would say that to my daughter where if you <clears throat> want to have a career, well, focus on that. Don't have kids. Because then what are you going to be? A single mother? How is that, how is that helpful to anybody? Because you're already um, starting your foot, your, your kids on the wrong foot by being a single mother. Um, and I will tell you, if you're going to, you know, um, do these jobs that are just terrible, right? Terrible choices in life, uh, then you might as well focus on... Um, having a family instead focus on being a wife because let's say for instance become a stripper well then you should not have you should have not become a stripper do a whatever 95 job nothing special and then focus on finding a good man a good decent morally uh, sound man with good character where and focus on being a good wife instead of being a stripper and a, a baby mama that's what I would kind of, in a way, say. Because <clears throat> we're not, I think, if you are a single father, right, raising your your daughter, we are not being um, detailed and logical enough for our kids, right? We're just saying, <clears throat> you know, you go girl, be a strong, independent woman, you know, get your money, uh, stuff like that. Well, that's it. We're not... I don't think we're instilling enough morals into our kids, helping them develop good character, in my opinion. Um, I don't know how she was raised, but if she turned out to be a, a stripper and, you know, a baby mama of two, it kind of reflects in his parenting. I was telling my stripper story, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> But shout out to my dad for real. He's with me, down with me all the time. So what, what do you do now that you don't strip anymore? Um, I still have my puppy business. So I still have my puppy business and I just started bartending. I've been bartending for, this is my like my eighth day. Okay. And how many kids do you have, honey? I have two kids, two sons. They're 17 and 13. By the same man? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell. It's really loud in here. Girl, you're fine. You're fine. I like that. I can hear you clear. Sorry. What, um, are they by the same man? Yes, yes, one baby day. Okay, are you ever been married? Yes, to my baby day. When did y'all get divorced? When I was 22. So he's really your ex 
ex-husband. He's not your baby daddy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, and how old are you? 33 now. What's your zodiac yep. sign? Hmm? What's your zodiac sign? Aries. I'm an Aries. So I think I remember your body. Let's do the Kendra can. Okay, well, I don't... I'm wearing my bartending stuff, and it's a uniform that I have to wear, so I don't know... Girl, you always sexy, so let's just get to it. I don't know how everyone's gonna feel about it. I don't oh, know you have on the, you have on like a... cocktail, like a, a, a leotard. That's a bartending yeah, uniform. Yeah, a leotard with stockings. So, girl, every time you up here, you sexy because I remember your body last time. Well, they didn't like me last time. They didn't like my face, my body. No, sexy. I mean, come on. I mean, <clears throat> she's she's definitely on the bigger side. I, I mean. I would be more, more, um, what I say, blunt with her, right? Covered in tattoos, uh, wear skimpy clothes, uh, used to be a stripper, now a bartender that wears skimpy clothes, which is, I don't see bartenders wear that. Uh, I'm not regular bartenders. Um, she's on the plug. I mean, she's not fat. I'm not, not really, I wouldn't call her fat, but. She's on a bigger, she's, she is a bigger size. Um, uh, I think men see that and just think about just sex. Right? She, uh, you know, heavy proportion, right? Really, you know, big butt. Um, but I was like... You know, covered in tattoos, it's just, it's ghetto. And it's just, it sets off a certain kind of vibe that, you, are you attracting decent men? I don't know. I don't think so. Men that are into commitment, monogamous minded, I don't know. I just, it's like. I'm trying to think what Kevin Samuel would say. You know, uh, I look I look up to the man, um, especially with his um, critique of modern day women. I, I, I value his his thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, like <clears throat> she's not terrible. Like I said, she's a five. Um, she's a bit big, but it's not terrible, right? Uh, she, you know, her her bigness has gone to certain you know certain places of her body, which is fine. Um, but I think it's, it, it exude more sexuality, right? It's more, 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 more lustfulness, right? I don't know. It, but sometimes, right, <clears throat> you got to think, what kind, what type of men are you attracting? Um, are you attracting men that want you for, you know, that sees you, sees you and wants you for sex? Maybe, or are you attracting men that want you want you for commitment, marriage, long term? That's what we gotta think about. Oh, your face! No, your face is beautiful. Listen, not beautiful. I think I'm not sure if I asked you this, but have you ever had surgery? I think they were asking me that. Yes, I'm. A, I'm. A, I. You know, if anyone asks me surgery, I'm 100 percent honest. I. You will not find me in the gym. You will not find me in the gym. Oh, now, now I'm in the gym. I'm done with surgery, but now, you know. Uh, now you <clears throat> Okay. So that's you a BBL? Oh, I mean, it, it looked, to be honest, it looked a bit silly because it was so wide. I mean, I, I can't understand. I, sometimes it's like, I can't understand why women find that um, a good thing for them. Because, like I was saying, right, BBL and most surgeries, right? It's just to advertise sexuality, right? Advertise um, lustfulness and you are getting the wrong type of men's attention. In my opinion, you know, covered in a tattoo, um, you know, surgery and really emphasizing the sexual aspects you're just getting men's attention for sex. And, you know, why do you think you're single? You know? 
Philly? Yes. Yeah. And you live in Philly, right? No, I live in Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. My dad retired at Charleston Air Force Base, and that's how I got down here. And then what is your nationality again? Um, I'm black and Puerto Rican. My mother's Puerto Rican. I met her when I was 17. She's an awesome lady. Um, we're friends. <laughs> you didn't meet your mom until you were 17? Right, when I was 17. So, so we're, who raised you? My dad. I always shout him out. Oh, let's do it. Oh, yeah. I think I'm starting to remember your first interview. I just really remember your body. I remember that part. Uh, I, was a... drunk. I was drunk for that one, so we just want to mm. we skip that. All right, baby girl. So that's so no guys worth staying with. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, Before, I feel like, you know, I learned a lot from your show. I feel like I might have been a little, whoo. Okay. Well, when you watched the interview back, what did you think? I didn't like that I talked about my ex because, you know, I hope he becomes the biggest biggest of the world or whatever he's doing. Um, he didn't do, he just wasn't for me, so I shouldn't have spoke about him. And then I didn't like that my requirements, that I had these specific requirements because height really doesn't matter. Because some of the men that I've met that treated me the best of my life, I mean, I'm only 5'2". 5'2". Oh, you're 5'2". All right, oh, let's do it. <clears throat> so now that you rise to and you revamp, what kind of guy are you looking for? Um, a, a loyal guy, a good guy. That's it. I pay for everything myself. I make good money. I'm fine by myself. I'm not looking for anyone to pay my bills. I'm looking for someone to just just share life with. That's it. Travel a lot. I really enjoy traveling. I'm not going to put a specific height on anything, but I'm just a good guy. Just a good guy. And surprisingly, last time, a lot of my inboxes was filled with females, filled with couples, filled with white men, which I've never dated a white man before, so I don't know. Is your response to the, are you only into men? Yes. Well, I, I I told one little lie on the last one and you asked me when the last time I had sex and I said, well, someone ate me out like I think like three weeks before my interview, I said that. It, hey, I was drunk. Let's, let's leave it alone. <laughs> that was a lie? I don't see a female, but I didn't want to say a female because I don't want to date a female. I don't know how that sounds. I don't know if it sounds bad. But from time to time, I may mess with a female. But it's only when I'm single. It's not like something I bring into a relationship or anything like that. Oh. So a man is your preference? Yes. All right. We're I would say a black man is my preference, but I've never tried any other race, so I'll just leave it open. OK, so she's open. Black man's preference, but she's open. What's some deal breakers? Um, I just have the one big, one ex-husband and the two kids, and um, I would prefer someone that has a low number like that because I don't like the multiple baby mamas and multiple kids. It's, it's crazy. Okay, okay. okay. Let's, we did a kids who came already. Does he have to look a certain way? No, because I, I don't know how to say it. Sometimes the best people on the inside. Okay. And I felt I done grown since my last interview, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, because I take care of myself, but um, I don't have I don't have any requirements for anyone to take care of me, but I do like to travel. So if you are able to have, you know, money to travel, that would be great. All right. We already did the Kendra can. When was your last relationship? Uh, two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I kind of want to skip it, but it's been a it's been a minute. I'll just be honest. It's been a minute. I'm not focused on that right now. I've really been focusing making money, building my business. Okay. All right. <clears throat> a minute is hard to judge, right? I'm. I assume a woman that doesn't. I've been wa watching this for a while. When they want to skip it or not really say specifically, I would say a good logical estimate is two to maybe three months. Since they don't want to answer, it's not that it's not that long ago, but it's kind of recent, so they feel like it's they don't want to answer that. I, I'll give it from uh, one to three months, right? A minute, and, ooh, I doubt it's a year. I, I, I definitely doubt it's a year. Uh, I doubt it's even half a year, so I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, why do you think you're single, Philly? 
Um, I think I'm single because I was really picky before, and I was very, um, I don't want to say delusional, but my standards were like, you know, impossible for people to meet. I was looking for perfection. It doesn't exist. I need to look for loyalty and love. Okay. Okay. And what are three flaws you think you have? Um, honestly, I think I'm always right. Mm, I got to work on that. I got to work on that. Um, and sometimes my timing, I always, I don't always give people the time they deserve and I have to work on that. And another flaw, I don't know if I have any, I mean, I know I got flaws, I got flaws, I can't think of something. <laughs> okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you, boo? Um, I don't know. I don't know. If the whole world hates me, that's fine. I just need one person. So I, I don't know why he'd be lucky, but it would be someone that likes me for me. I love your personality. Thanks. You know why? Because, first of all, I come on the show, it takes a lot of courage because you already know the cousins are going to judge you, right? Yeah. So yeah. I love that you are confident enough in your skin that the criticism, you can laugh it off. Some you took to heart and made adjustments. And it didn't break you. And to me, this is what I always say. I always say this, like, I'm not a stripper. But always what I admire about strippers is they know how to not give a fuck about other people's opinions. And if you could <laughs> learn to live life as free as possible without caring about other people's opinions, that is freedom. Because now you can live as you want to. People are always going to judge you. So I actually admire that about you. I think that's thank joke. You. I think you have a great But I truly, I just want to thank you for your show. But I think if people actually pay more attention, they can actually learn and grow from it. I mean, it's I think good. people are. Like, I'm getting a lot of, you know, we're three years in, and I'm getting actually a lot of that lately. Of I'm learning things from your show. Yes. And I think that, like, you know, here's the deal. I hope, it's, I I hope that's true. Just, you know, I've been sitting here now for three years. I'm completely different from when I started the show to where I'm sitting now. <clears throat> and sometimes I think, like I had a caller a second ago, I think people don't hear themselves out loud. So I like repeat it to see if they really agree with themselves. Because yep. sometimes you gotta listen to yourself and be like, wait, does that really make sense? But either way, I think, oh, what's the age range you would date? You're 33. Um, older, older, I honestly prefer older. Girl, I, I don't know if you want to, but they want the Kendra cam again. It's up to you, you don't gotta do it. <laughs> This is a uniform. I just want y'all to know. They want to this body, girl. See, that looks like okay. a BBL. It's so... Can the guy have kids? Such a weird proportion, um, right? She's yeah, so she wide in the I hips. don't want any more kids, and I don't want to get married. I know that sounds crazy. <clears throat> I, I, it, it, I, just, I just want a partner in life. That doesn't sound crazy. I think there's people... Here, I, I believe whatever works for you. Like, I think there was this whole notion about... Um, shout out to Lala, who I love and adore. And she made this statement a while back about people weren't getting married anymore. Um, and I think that is true for certain people. But I do think if you want to have kids, you should think about it. Because for women, you know, for men, it's easier than women once they have children. It just is. But I think marriage works for some people and marriage doesn't for others. It's not really a right or wrong. You just got to learn yourself and your life. Why do you not want to get married, though? Um, truthfully, I think I'm scared to get married again. It would have to be someone that that really gets in my mind that really shows me different. That's right, because you was married. Why did you guys get divorced? Too young, too young, too young. And when did you get divorced? When I was 22. When did you get married? When I was 16 or 17. My memory's not that good. I can't remember if my grandma had to sign for me because I was pregnant or, or I could just get married. I couldn't remember, but I was either 16 or 17. This was, um, your, your kids had the same father? Yes. How old was your child's father? How old is he? He's older than me. He's older. How old, much older? Mm, eight years or so. <laughs> so when you he was 16, he was 20-something? Yeah, but to be fair, I did not, I did not tell him. <laughs> it, was a, it was a situation, but we're good now. Everything's good. So you were, <clears throat> did you get pregnant at 16 or did you get pregnant at 15? Sixteen. Okay, you were still, but was it was it considered too young by law? No, I mean I didn't have any problems with law or anything like that. Like it was okay. just uh, stuff happened, and and I didn't tell him my real age, and I was just young and dumb, young and dumb, young and dumb. Okay, well you matured. All right, let's do it. Give the guy who's interested. Oh, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm 
life and looking for someone that loves life too. Philly and Columbia. <coughs> okay, well. Um <coughs> Uh, you know, she's she's not she's not bad. I mean, average looking. Um uh, uh okay personality. Um I do think, in my personal opinion, women that has high standards will rarely ever lower their standards or be happy in lowering their standards. In my opinion. So, if she already had high standards already, I don't think, um, and I said it, right? It's not impossible, but I think it's rare for her to deal with a man that didn't meet her old standards, that meets her new standards. I'm, uh, I, I'm doubting it. So, that's something that I think... Men that dates women like that says stuff like that, right? Until she lowered her standards or she doesn't have the same standards anymore. That should be a, a, a red flag to take notice, right? I don't mean red flag. I mean, sometimes red flags doesn't necessarily have to mean you, you know, they are definitely, you can't, don't be with this person. But red, it's things that <clears throat> you have to take about no one's perfect, right? Someone will always have some red flags. It's just, one, is that it shouldn't be terrible red flags, right? Like, really crazy red flags. Nor should it be such a huge amount of red flags, right? Those are the two things that you should think about. If it was, like, I don't know, 100 baby mamas, that's a huge, crazy red flag, right? That's something you got to think about. Or, like, just so many different um, small issues, some small little red flags that just... Like, he has, like, 200 different small little red flags. You know, that, that should be thought about, too. So, um, um, I mean, women like this, how she looks, you know, okay personality. I don't think she will have a hard time finding a man. But I, like I said before, I think she's going to have a hard time shift, um, what is it, weeding through the men that are, what is it, commitment-minded, or just wanting her to for sex. Because she has the image of someone, I don't know, that falls into the sexual category, right? She doesn't necessarily have the image-wise of someone like, let's say, well, she doesn't want to be a wife, really. She doesn't want marriage, but into the long-term wifey, you know, commitment uh, category. Not necessarily. Um, I'm talking about just look-wise. You know, you don't get enough of her personality and stuff because what does she really bring to a man, a benefit? Um, no kids, which is fine. I mean, you don't have to. Um, but, no. She didn't say anything else that benefits a guy or that would entice a guy besides her looks, besides, you know, her sexual image, right? Um, you know, doesn't seem like she's the domestic type, so that's something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, she's not terrible, right? I would say that. She's not terrible. It's just, is she, is it going to be, uh, um, an easy road for her to find a man for commitment? I don't know. Uh, I'll say not really, right? Because like I said, the image she'll portray a lot of men that has that sees her for sexual sexual needs will be the vultures, will be the ones that will aim for her. So any other men, right? Any maybe a, a decent man that would talk to her. Well, he's going to have to be, you know, in the crowd of all these other men that wants to have sex with her. Because it, she, that's what she, that's the image she portrays, right? Really exaggerated proportions, a uh, career that facilitates, you know, those, I don't know, sexual lifestyle, you know, a stripper. Uh, I'm not saying the bartenders are, but I mean, she seems a permiss, I mean, seems like a, um, scantily clad bartender that's wow that's I don't know 
But anyway, eh, it was okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, you know, do you think that... Do you think I'm, my breakdown is crazy? My, my, my reaction is crazy? I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, later guys.